Hello. So we have Kerry with us today. So Kerry, tell, let's start by finding out a bit more about you. Obviously, I know who you are, but <laughs> <laughs> who are you, what do you do, and who do you help? Let's start there. Yeah, so my name's Kerry Norton. I am a physiotherapist and uh, mama of three stroke five. <laughs> um, so yeah, so super busy. Um, and I help uh, women in chronic pain to recover their health and vitality. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Powerful. And so where, like, where was that decision, where did that decision come from to, to help people, uh, women in chronic, chronic, with chronic pain? Where did that come from? Yeah, so um, I qualified as a physiotherapist oh, way back now in, was it? 2006 something mm -hmm. like that so yeah so over 15 years ago um and you know that was my job to help people with back pain and things and then um and I really believed in that until I started to suffer from pain myself and I went to all the usual places mm -hmm. went to my colleagues did the things that I would tell other people to do mm -hmm. had the MRI scans and went through that process that journey of trying to heal trying to recover um through that through that channel and seven years on and I was still in pain and I'd been told that what I had was wear and tear it was chronic it was degenerative there was not much really that I was going to be able to do about it other than to accept that I was in pain and to live with it um which it was really difficult to accept that um yeah. and so I was pretty much fairly close actually to just giving up on the whole thing because you know I'd done everything I'd literally by this point seven years in I'd done all the physio and you know done all the exercises I'd been to see all the doctors and had MRI scans and x-rays I'd been to see osteopaths and chiropractors and acupuncturists and had Reiki and massage and colonic hydrotherapy and uh, crystal healing and been to see psychics and you know, done done just about everything that I could think of in mm -hmm. order to heal. And um, yeah, um, I, I, a colleague of mine had actually um, suggested something to me, and uh, until it wasn't until the very very end, I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll just read that book you know, and, and I'll see what happens. And so I read a book and it was um, by Dr. John Sarno and it was about healing back pain. And it was looking at a mind body approach to back pain. And it was this kind of approach that, and that on top of everything I'd already done and already learned. I mean, by this point I was, I wasn't just going for massage therapy. I'd trained in massage therapy. I wasn't just doing yoga. I was the yoga teacher, you know, I wasn't just looking at nutrition and, um, you know, metabolic medicine. You know, I had a fellowship in, in nutrition and metabolic medicine and functional medicine. And, you know, was a, a practitioner, a gut health practitioner. Mm. And so I just, you know, I'd gone all in all the way along trying to heal. And it wasn't until this kind of final piece of the puzzle kind of slotted into place about how the mind and the body are so connected, which is obvious really now that I look back on it and think about it. Um, but for me, that was the real turning point. Mm. Yeah. And from there, I was able to gather all of the bones, if you like, all of the stuff that I had learned, all of the um, things that I was doing along the way and add this mind-body element in and create, you know, the secret sauce. Mm, <laughs> absolutely. And take yourself on that, like, healing journey, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, all the way along it, it was always about healing myself. Yes. You know? It's always about healing myself and I knew that once I healed myself then I would be able to help others do the same yeah, yeah when did that click in in terms of helping others do the same when when do you feel you kind of start to see that as is this my calling like you know am I 
yeah well you know I think that that was kind of always there uh-huh. I think because I was a physio and because you know I kind of felt like I was letting you know it was almost like this realization that I had let I was letting people down like one mm-hmm. second I'm the physio if I can't heal myself mm. you know if I can't if I can't do it then then you know and it was like a, I had to prove it I had to prove that I could do it in order that other people could do it it's like that thing about you know heal yourself yeah. heal the world sort of thing mm-hmm. and, and it, I think it was always there and, and I think that also held me back a little bit from my own healing mm-hmm. because um you know what I talk to people about is like what is it that you're expecting of the person that you are without pain mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what is it that's on the other side of pain and for me I was expecting a lot of myself without mm-hmm. pain yeah which kind of held me stuck in that place for a while yeah which when I discovered mind body medicine that kind of really clicked it's like ah part of the reason I'm still in pain is because I'm putting so much pressure on myself to not be in pain and when I'm out of pain to go and you know heal the world of Mm -hmm. pain (laughs) so that was also a learning curve you know yeah absolutely absolutely and so when did the when did you start so you had because you was on your journey and you was like training and learning and healing and then it kind of started to come together and then even though you had that desire within you of like once I I master this like you know once I break through on this I'm going to tell the world like I literally (laughs) anyone that needs to know about this they have to know about it because otherwise it's a disservice right yeah and so when was that point of it transitioning into a business of like yeah let me create an experience or let me create something because I think that started way before you even met me yeah yeah mm-hmm. for sure so um I think that uh probably around about three years ago mm-hmm. um when I really kind of when things began to click into place mm-hmm. and I was like ah, oh, okay now now I I know what I need to do but I, I know it's not really it's not quite physio Mm. you know it's not quite physiotherapy and um and I started to look for you know a way of 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 helping people and reaching out to people um and originally it was going to be I was going to open a little practice and I was going to have people come and see me and you know maybe I would run some retreats and I would I would help people in that way and then of course um, well, actually, um, I started to learn about um, uh, e-learning and mm-hmm. um, what was being called knowledge brokering. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and things you know back a couple of years ago. Um, from and I, um, you know, I, I signed up to some online courses and some online training, and I was like, "Wow, okay, this is a thing." How do you turn your knowledge into into something? How do you take what you've learned and take your mess and make it your message, mm-hmm. and and start to take people on an experience on a journey that they can learn from you and and you know condense what took you decades to learn into days Mm -hmm. and so I started to do that um and that was great and then you know I kind of went through that course and I put together programs and I had mentors and I invested heavily in myself and in the training you know and spent thousands of dollars Mm -hmm. in all of this but that was the problem it was all in dollars it was all American it was all you know coming from the U.S. with a very American kind of spin on things Mm -hmm. I was just like I'm not sure how the people in the UK are going to feel about that I don't know how that I translate that into Mm -hmm. what I'm doing here and also it never told me how to set up a business right and so as a as a practitioner as a physiotherapist having come from the NHS and having a a degree in you know a science-based degree I'd never learn how to set up and run a business and luckily for me you know I have a family business and you know we have a company accountant and things and you know and some people like like ask some questions to but it never really related back to what I wanted to do as a therapist as what I wanted to do as a practitioner mm. um 
until I met you. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. So at that point, so you had done some courses at that point when we when we'd met, and I remember that, and you had started to think about your message and what you could do and how you could articulate that in the e-learning world. Where had you got to? Had you built a community? I think you'd started to build a community or? Uh, yeah, like? I had, um, what I, where I'd got to is I had started to build a community. Mm-hmm. I had uh, run a couple of online workshops mm-hmm. and invited people that had gone really, really well. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was like, you know, $40 for the workshop okay. or, you know, and sort of, you know, these very, um, and just kind of testing it out, really, mm. like really kind of um, knowing that there was something more in that and wanting to create, still wanting to create an experience, wanting mm. to invite people on to retreat, mm. wanting to um, work more closely with people. Um, but yeah, and so I just started to test the waters really with it and mm. and really build out the content of the program. So mm. like the it was more about like the journey, getting to grips with where I had been and what I'd been through and how that translated into principles. Mm. Like how, like, what are my values? What are my principles? What, you know, what parts do people, do I have to to articulate to people in order for them to take the same journey I did Mm -hmm. in a much shorter space of time? Yes, 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 absolutely. And how big was your community? Because I know it was just starting. Oh, yeah, like fifteen people. Okay. <laughs> how did so you like find in, it? in my in my in my group? Mm-hmm. Um, it was just the people that had been through my workshop. Okay. Um, and then you know, I obviously had a larger um, group in you know my Facebook community, you know my personal Facebook community, or my Instagram community. Mm-hmm. Who I was kind of you know just sending the messages out to okay they're not really they're not necessarily my avatar right and then yeah. and then from that actually a lot of people started to you know like I would get direct messages from people that I mm. met you know oh we met in Florida three years ago and we were talking and I heard your um you know I heard your video and you work with women in chronic pain while well, I've been in pain for all this time and can okay. I you know can we have a chat and so people from that community would start to reach out to me and I was like okay well, how can I protect myself my energy mm-hmm. and things and create something that's more of a container where I can hold these people better yeah absolutely because otherwise in which you know sometimes you see is that people build this um become like people are just reaching out to you asking you questions like how can you help me oh my gosh tell me about your story and then you but you have nothing to to bring them into or nowhere to help them really in that space you know how did you find those 15 people for your workshop so um I I did a little video on my on my personal Facebook page on my personal Instagram page just yeah a couple of days before said I've got something to share with you and then went live on my pages and said sign up yeah and uh, some people shared it some people reached out to me Mm -hmm. and yeah and then 15 people you know so it didn't really do anything it was very yeah yeah yeah. it was organic right (laughs) yeah Yeah, it was completely organic yeah I was like right okay there was really a need for this yeah but my the problem that I had at that point was although you know I had all of these ideas I didn't have anything so they went through the workshop and then it was like there was nowhere Mm -hmm. for them to go afterwards there was nothing to to filter them into afterwards yeah Uh, yeah Absolutely. And I guess at that point, other than doing more organic of like doing another video and keep kind of going out, there was no kind of flow of traffic of your avatar to you, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, And also the people, they, although they were, they were my avatar, they weren't like, they weren't really, you know, they were people in pain. Uh, mostly women they weren't necessarily you know my specific avatar because I hadn't targeted Mm -hmm. specifically who it was that I was wanting to attract into this program 
Yes, 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 absolutely, absolutely. So what was it like to, to make the decision? Why did you make the decision to come into Discover a New Way? And because at that time you were yeah. pregnant, right? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, I think I, I had been already, um, I knew that I wanted to come into the, the e-learning market. I knew that I already had principles and I already knew of the transformational journey that I wanted to take people through. Mm -hmm. um, so that part I was quite clear on. How I was going to A, get those people into my program, set up the business mm -hmm. so that it was um, correct and uh you know protected me and protected the people that I was going to be working with in the UK here in the UK like that was really important for me like how do I comply to all the laws and the regulations that apply to me here in the UK in Europe you know what how do I you know work with people who are in other countries and protect myself protect them all of these questions I was like ah mm -hmm. um and could, because I was pregnant, I needed guidance on that. You know, it wasn't, of course, you know, over time I would be able to work these things out. You know, uh, I've got, I'd got so far and I, I had, you know, I already had a, a business set up and I had a business bank account, you know, and I, and I had, you know, some of the pieces in place, um, but it just felt really um, fragmented. And I, I, what really drew me to discover a new way was, um, you know, when I when I watched the the masterclass, and I went through that, and you know, I said yes, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. This is somebody who has walked the path, mm -hmm. who has done it here in the UK, mm -hmm. who um, you know is talking about thing, you know, is talking my language, talking about being. HCPC registered, talking about allied health professionals, talking about, you know, governing bodies, talking about working with people here in the UK and, you know, GDPR and all of those things that I knew I needed to um, some support with. Mm. Yeah, so I think that was really it. That was really what was like, yeah, this is somebody who, who can um, guide me mm -hmm. in a way that feels very safe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's really important, you know, to be um, to be guided by that support where you do feel safe and where you do where you are setting yourself up with the with the steps that you need to get ultimately where you want to get to. Um, one of the things I noticed about you, Kerry, very early on was you had um, which doesn't always happen for everybody, but you have a, um, a business mindset. Mm. You, you recognize you know that in order for you to get your business to where it's gonna get to that you're gonna need support and help yeah. and you're very open to that and I, you know maybe it's been on your journey and your own healing journey as well as having your own business but it's something I really recognize and respect from you because sometimes that is a journey before people kind of get to that realization that support's okay <laughs> you know yeah definitely and you know you know, you do. I think there's a reluctance to invest into e-learning because it's new, because we don't know about it. You know, and I, I, I know that I was always very reluctant to share with people, like, you know, oh, I just spent this amount on, you know, this online training course of, of, you know, how to, how to get into e-learning market, or I've just spent this amount for a year's mentorship on you know how to discover my message to translate my message into yeah. into principles and into a program it's like what that this is these are alien things <laughs> to yeah. people you know and um I think this was easier for people to understand because it's like no no this is business mentorship where mm -hmm. you know this is the so although you know you sneak in some of that <laughs> sneak in the mindset and the you know and all of that and how to create a transformational program and all of that is included in this but mm -hmm. there's also like this really practical side this really like getting stuff done side you know where it's um you know you pay thousands you pay tens and tens of thousands in 
in business consultancy in you know to to get the knowledge that you get from this from this program yeah right. and I, I think yeah I, I could see I recognize that because I'd already spent thousands, mm. tens of thousands yeah. and, and got to like so far but not been able to translate that um mm. into the business side of things I think it was really easy to recognize the value in this program yeah 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 absolutely love that shit what 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 did that what have you gained so what kind of tangible results have you kind of seen for your business since sure in the process yeah well it really um it really feels like um everything is pulled together now so you know like now I have a website and I have a marketing strategy and I have a community a Facebook community with like over 80 people now in my Facebook community all my avatar all answering the questions and saying yes 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 you know yes I have chronic pain yes you know loads of people saying um you know I tried everything that you've tried in your, that you mm. said that you've tried, you know, pain free. Like I don't even know what that is. You know, mm. I've I've forgotten what it feels like to to live in a body that doesn't hurt all the time, which is exactly what I was reaching out and so really messaging, really narrow, like um, homing in on that messaging mm-hmm. um, to in a way that um, connects with the people that I want to serve, that I want to help. Yeah, yeah absolutely I love that and um and being able to build that community with with ease right you're not have to do like you know yeah <laughs> yeah yeah like it's been so easy that I'm actually quite scared by it. <laughs> so, ah, like there's all these people now they're here and uh, it's like it's been so long in the building so long in the making mm-hmm. and now they're all here and they're like you know, I'm just like imagining this room filling up with all of these people. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm sort of like backstage. Peeking <laughs> <laughs> through the curtains. Like, I have to go out there and like talk to all these people now. And, you know, um, but then, yeah, but then very quickly, you know, I moved from that kind of peeking through the mm. curtains mindset to this kind of, you know, like Tony Robbins zip wiring in. <laughs> <laughs> playing drums with like pyro fire going off in the background and stuff. <laughs> Mary J Blige singing yes. no more pain you know <laughs> absolutely yeah right and it can be a real thing because now you're seeing that room fill up you know what I mean right like <laughs> like it was started as just a joke and now it's like oh, that could it's actually like, be well, like actually people coming in you know <laughs> and you can bring it anyway where you are and I know re- retreats is a part of your process and you know yeah. so you're not gonna have yeah. it online but it'll say in-person elements which is beautiful um but yeah like just being in a place now where you can see it all happening right and one of the things you just said as well which I'd love to touch on is how the mind, like this has been a, a, a mindset process as well, you know, which some people are sometimes surprised about, um, you know, yeah. just, just give us the business stuff, you know, like give us the marketing strategy, which you'll get, but the mind, right? How has it been? Um, I guess what parts of the process have helped you in being able to keep your mind going on this process? Yeah, I think it's it's the thing that constantly needs tending to. It's like a constant pruning process and tending to process. And for me, one of the biggest shifts in mindset has been my money mindset, my abundant mindset. You know, having this feeling of, um, you know, almost like, oh, like if I earn money out of what I've learned, then that's me taking advantage of people in pain, you know. That was where I started. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, it's like, you know, I have to go out and kind of like flog myself and give everything away for free um, in order to truly be of service to people who are in, in pain. Mm-hmm. And all the way now to, you know, like knowing that that doesn't even work. Like I could go out there and I could do it all for free, you know, run myself into the ground. Mm-hmm. end up back in pain probably yes myself, yes you know? yeah 
and not be able to, um, you know, support myself and my family and, you know, not being able to carry it on. Mm. And the people wouldn't get the results mm. anyway. So it would be pointless. And so, and so I really recognize now that although, um, you know, it's still something that needs constant tending to because it still creeps in. Like, can I do this? Can I really create transformations to these people? Can I really, you know, hold this community? You know, um, all of those things continue to creep in, but I am got absolute, you know, unshakable certainty now mm. that, you know, that this is incredible value for money. It's incredible, you know, what I'm, putting out there is is life-changing it's absolutely life-changing for people yes. you know there's people in my community that are aware, that are sitting on waiting lists for surgery wow and there's no there is no guarantee that that surgery is going to help their pain right and potentially it's going to even make their pain worse mm, you know yeah. just because you replace a hip mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you're not going to have hip pain mm -hmm. in that in that joint anymore even though it's not even your joint right right you know? yeah there are plenty of people out there with new knees and new hips mm. and you know that that don't that that don't that still have pain mm. you know that that didn't get the results that that they really wanted you know and um you know there's plenty of people out there who lost limbs who still have pain in a limb that they don't have Yes. And that's really the process that that's, the you know, that's what I need for people that really help people to understand that just because we cut it out, we cut it off mm. doesn't mean that it goes away. And this is like, this is the part in this course that's helped me, but it's the part in my course that's going to help others as well. It's about mm. mind. It's about mindset. It's about neural pathways. Yeah. It's about learning a new way of, of, um, of doing things it's about changing your physiology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. changing your state changing your physiology so changing your relationship with pain and just like this for me has been about changing my physiology changing my relationship with money changing my relationship mm -hmm. with how I run a business how I protect myself how I value myself mm. yeah it's absolutely understanding all the things that are going to get in the way all of the hurdles and it's not that they're not going to keep coming. They go, they are going to keep coming. Yes. You know, it's not like you get to a point and it's like, oh, it's like, you know, everything opens up. And of course, everything gets clearer and it gets easy to jump those hurdles, but they're always going to be there. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Right. And like, really, like, you know, the, we're so passionate about being transparent about that. You know, like it is a journey and it's about sending yourself up with the right mindset and the right community as well like how has that helped as well the community of practitioners around you as you've been on this journey yeah no it's amazing actually I really have enjoyed um meeting new people mm. meeting new people that are based here in the UK that's mm -hmm. been huge for me um especially during these times when everything is you know virtual and on zoom like that prospect of actually you know well we could actually meet in person someday yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, you know me and dr Talene, we might actually be in the same room we will we will <laughs> <laughs> and all these other practitioners as well and so i think there's something really special about that that mm. um you know that we're all on the same journey together and you know it's been because you know I had some maternity leave and yeah. some, some time off with the kids and stuff you know a process that um you know at the beginning of it I started it and it's like oh yeah it's like 12 weeks you know we're 12 we do fish fresh bosh we're gonna get that done start the business start to you know to bring clients in and actually it's much bigger than that yeah it's much more um and I'm really pleased that I've had this time mm -hmm. and it I've well like I've really evolved mm -hmm. um you know my mindset my business you know, everything and everything is yeah like layer by layer it's building up and I feel like there's just a really strong foundation mm, yes like I built a house on like the strongest of foundations now yes 
Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I love that. What would you what would you share to somebody that hears this that is maybe pregnant themselves and they have a vision to create something and they're they're just unsure like should I be working on this whilst I'm pregnant can I do this you know like they're just all sorts is going on right while we're pregnant yeah 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 exactly (laughs) so what would you say what was I thinking about (laughs) (laughs) what would you say with that practitioner you know it's pregnant they might have other children that have yeah for sure and they probably do you know they probably do if they're a practitioner and they've been you know working in the NHS or working in private practice or you know um then they probably do they probably do if they don't have children then they've got other responsibilities they might have a job or they might have a partner they might have a parent who needs them you know other people that that are, are, are requiring their time and I think that my my um the one thing that I would really say is you have to think about your why Mm. like why are you doing it yeah why is it that you want to um create your own your own personal economy Mm. you know your own independence your own financial stability Mm. like and really tapping into that and so all the way along even though I was pregnant I was like yeah I'm doing this because I am pregnant (laughs) like I'm doing this because I want to be able to um you know I want to have a career for me I want to have a career I want to you know it's just been a really expensive hobby Mm. that's what I say like the last 15 years of my life feels like this incredibly expensive hobby you know learning about all of this stuff yeah and so for myself I really wanted to put that into place and I wanted to show them look like this is what I've been doing you know I don't I'm you know I'm not just mummy you know I, I have all of this as well all of this knowledge that I want to share and you know in doing that I can actually create abundance for my family I can create a lifestyle for my family that is safe and secure where we can have time together and go on holidays and you know I can be with them in school holidays I can pick them up from school I can take them to their clubs and and all of that stuff you know um yeah that's that's my why that's why I'm doing it in the first place yeah absolutely like tuning into your why and living from that place that's what keeps you going and holding the vision like holding the vision of what you want you know for me I always had this really strong vision of wanting to have a home that is also my business you know like so wanting to have this um having this vision of you know having this bright and beautiful home where I actually work from and run retreats from and invite people to in order to to go through their healing process Mm -hmm. alongside my family life and so this was always like my really higher vision yeah Um, yeah absolutely and like constantly leaning into that like there's so much nuggets of gold you've given here today (laughs) Uh, because like you know anyone that, that gets to see this is just really like if you could observe how Kerry's thinking and like acting from that place that she knows. Like, I know you can see it. Like you can see it as like done. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so even though it might feel scary or like, can I do it? Or what all of those stuff will come up. Like there's that that foundation of trust that I'm yeah. feeling in you, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, absolutely is just trusting in the vision because it was given to me you know it wasn't it's not I didn't make it up yeah yeah <laughs> it feels like it at times you know I didn't make <laughs> this up you couldn't make yeah, it up exactly you know, right? exactly and so leaning into that vision leaning into that um energy and coming from that place so on those days when you know it just feels like overwhelming or or too much mm-hmm. like just tapping into that energy that higher vibration of no 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 that's like destiny is done it's already there it's happening it's happening and so now it's just about taking like one step at a time like towards it 
yes yes absolutely well thank you so much Kerry for your time today I'm so grateful uh, I know your you. business mom, business mother <laughs> Oh, why you know what I mean all the things <laughs> so really really grateful and I know this will serve somebody so I'm really really thankful for that okay so thank you thank, thank you, you. we'll also put a link as well for anybody that is happen does happen to see this that is a woman in pain Definitely. yeah please do yeah thank okay. you awesome.